Monday. I hope your day is going well and I hope you're headed home. So I just left my job about 30 minutes ago and I did a quick workout before I arrived here. So we're going to talk about showrunners. So Shonda Rhimes, the creator of Grey's Anatomy, is a showrunner. She is a person that's responsible for the budget of her show. She's responsible for the writers in her uh, writing room. She's also responsible or has a lot to do with the editing of the show and the final look of the show. So a showrunner is a term that is used in the United States. And it usually refers to the executive producer of a show. It also can refer to the creator of the show. Uh, sometimes you'll have a showrunner who is responsible for the creative side of the show, which is the writing and making sure that the scripts are, are completed on time also have another person that could be responsible for the financial side of the, the program or the show uh, that is being produced. In Chandra Rhymes' case, she was responsible for everything. The budget of the show as well as the writing as well as um, making sure all the scripts are, were produced and uh, were uh, received by the actors on time. So a showrunner, as I said, is specific to the United States. However, uh, I came across Julian Fellows, the creator of Downton Abbey, and he is a showrunner. He is a one-man show. His writing room consists of one person, him, and he creates all the scripts and uh, for the show. So a showrunner, uh, uh, there is a great demand for minorities in that field. What I like about Chandra Rhymes is that she's bringing in writers and she's grooming them and she doesn't care what their nationality is or what their background is. So she's grooming uh, minority sh uh, showrunners and writers for the next generation. So, um, and I admire that about her. She also is the creator of Private Practice and she has a lot to do with um, how to get away with murders. She isn't the showrunner in that uh, in that series. However, she has a lot uh, to say about the production of the show. Uh, she also did a series that had one season called Still Star Cross. And uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing that because uh, it was based on a book that was written um, about what happened after Romeo and Juliet uh, commit a suicide and um, and then it, ta it takes up the two houses and you see what happens after their death. I use Chandra Rhymes as a model uh, to uh, help me uh, navigate my career and where I want to go. Um, I don't have aspirations so much to be a showrunner. However, I would like to create a pilot and to pitch it to uh, an executive producer or to a writing um, or a writing room or a writing group and, and have them uh, create it and uh, produce it for me. My main goal is to write. And the reason we're talking about showrunners is because that is an avenue that you may want to pursue. You may want to be or you may be the type of person that wants to create your own show and to be the head writer of your show. And you may also be a type of person that doesn't mind taking on the responsibilities of having writers work under you and managing a large budget. Another showrunner that I admire is uh, Sarah Treen. I hope I'm saying her name right. She created The Affair, and I like the way she um, she produced that show because it tells the same story from two people's perspective, the two people that are having the affair. And it is a complicated, interesting story, and it allows you to see how uh, things can be misconstrued depending on who's telling the story. So I like her way of storytelling, and as I said, I like Julian Fellows. I think he's very interesting, and I think if you get a chance to look at his work and listen to some of his interviews, you'll be very impressed. To Chandra Rhimes, uh, she uh, was a, a person that produced movies. She was a, a writer that produced movies, and then she moved to television. And she stated one of the reasons that she liked to do uh, write, she wanted to write for television, was because uh, character development was important to her. And when you uh, do a movie or create a movie, the characters at the end of that movie uh, pretty much uh, end, or their story ends, unless it's a sequel. Uh, but in uh, television, you can create a character that can continue to evolve and grow and mature and surprise you uh, episode after episode and season after season. So uh, showrunner may be a career that you might want to consider. 
As I said before, I find it intriguing. Uh, I have ideas for pilots. However, I don't think I'll pursue that for myself. I hope this video has been informative to you and I hope that you enjoyed uh